What's up, everybody? I hadn't released a video in quite a while, and after releasing my last one a couple days ago, it has since become my best video. Thank you. Anyway, nerds, 0 0.999 repeating is equal to 1. And I want to be clear, 0 0.999 repeated isn't close to 1, or very, very close to 1, but it is literally 1. Like, they are literally the same number. There is no difference between that and this. Before I begin, I know some people are going to say, but, but isn't there always a 0 0.1 or something to be added? Yeah, sure, little buddy. Yeah, 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 I know, I know. 0 0.1 this, 0 0.1 that. Ha. <sighs> Get him! Get the boys! Let's go, 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 Before we dive into the real nitty gritty, I need to show you some basic proof. So pull out your calculators and let's start. So we all know that one third is equal to 0 0.333 repeating, right? Okay, and two thirds is equal to 0 0.666 repeating. So why isn't 0 0.999 repeating equal to one? There, I'm smart and you aren't, shut up and listen. Now, I'm no math genius, but I've read multiple Wikipedia articles in my time. And damn if I can't explain why 0 0.999 repeated is equal to one. So there are a couple of ways to prove that 0 0.999 repeated equals 1. First, there's the I just learned what a line is method, the I graduated fifth grade method, and three, the I watched another video explaining this method, but I understood it because I did it in math class this year method. So first, we need a number line. Now, on one side, we put 0. On the other, we put 1. You understanding this? Good. First, we have to make sure that 0 and 1 are different numbers, and we can do this by placing a number that is in between them. For example, 0 0.5. But what about 0 0.5 and 1? Are they different? Yep, numbers are in between them, like 0 0.75. Okay, you got that? But what about 0 0.999 repeating? Can a number fit between 0 0.999 repeating and 1? Think about it. Now stop and shut it, because you can't fit any numbers. Because the number is literally repeating itself forever, and nothing can fit between 0 0.999 repeating and 1. Therefore, 0 0.999 repeating is 1. So let's say 1x equals 0 0.999 repeated. Now let's multiply both sides by 10. We get 10x equals 9.999 repeated. Then let's minus an x from 10x and we get 9x. And we can make 9.999 repeated just 9 because as we said before, 0 0.999 repeated is x. Then we get 9x equals 9, which is x equals 1, which means 0 0.999 repeated equals 1. Buckle up kids, this is the good one. So we can agree that 0 0.999 repeated is equal to 0 0.9 plus 0 0.09 plus 0 0.009, right? And that goes on infinitely. We can now see that to get from one number to the next, all we're doing is dividing by 0 0.1, right? Well, we can call this a geometric sequence. Now, I know this is boring, but keep watching. So to find the sum of an infinite geometric sequence, we can take the first value, put it over one, and minus it by the value that is applied to each number in the sequence. So what do we get? We get 0 0.9 over 0 0.9, which equals one. This tells us that the sum of 0 0.999 repeated is equal to one. Now, that wasn't so boring, right? Huh. Now, to end with a joke. How many mathematicians does it take to screw in a light bulb? 0 0.999 repeating. You get it? Because it equals one? <laughs> Oh, my God.